Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction action film. Major Grom, played doctor. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Russian police officer Igor Grom is a loose cannon cop who plays by no one's rules, but gets the bad guys off the streets in his own unorthodox way. In the opening caper, he chases down clown-masked bank robbers on foot. While they are in a van, spilling rubles all over Street Petersburg, the robbers switch on rapid escape mode, and they desperately crash into the bus, which stands in their way. Grom regards this as the best time to catch the robbers. Often in difficult situations, he quickly runs various solutions through his head. In his imagination, he has jumped onto the van, fought with the robbers as a hero, and sacrificed for the mission. However, nothing like that happens. Grom manages to block the robber's van with a truck and force it to move forward. At the same time, he realizes he cannot break the truck. Ahead of them, the police station is having an opening ceremony for their new bronze statue. All of a sudden, Grom screams out loud, warning the crowd to make way for the cars. As soon as everyone evacuates, the two cars crash directly into the bronze statue, tearing it apart while leaving the commanding officer in a shock. At high speed, the vehicles continue to destroy the surface of the most valuable street, of which a repair may easily take up tens of millions of dollars. Grom's boss is so pissed off at Grom's foolish acts that he locks Grom up with the robbers. As a tradition, all his colleagues are taking bets on whether troublemaker Grom will be fired. Boss demands Grom to write his own resignation letter, but of course, he is back at work the next day. In fact, Boss knows by heart that Grom is a good police officer, way better than other useless and shitty colleagues. Soon there comes the trial of a callously drunken son of an oligarch, the bad boy who kills a little girl in a brazen hit and run. As Russia's unreachable, politically protected villain, he shows up at court with an indifferent, rude, and unrepentant attitude. Despite clear evidence against him and the victim's brother prosecuting him in tears, the judges are bribed to set him free. Acquitted, he leaves the court with his head held up high and drives off in a sports car under the glare of the media. Grom feels extremely disgusted by the court's decision, but there is nothing much he can do. An IT elite named Sergei shares the same resentment with Grom. In the middle of his new product launch, he receives the news of the girl's tragic death. He gets so angry that he cannot hold his cell phone firmly and immediately leaves the event. When Sergei was young, he would even stand up for a dog. It's natural that now he cannot sit still at such an unfair judgment. Back to the office, Sergei's friend named Angry Mustache upholds the same belief that the law cannot preserve justice. The confident clearly takes a bleaker view of society and how best to clean it up. At boss home, Grom voices his frustration about the kind of high-end bad behavior that not even one good cop like Grom can touch. In response, boss reminds him that they have to uphold the law. At this time, Grom receives an update about the victim's brother missing in actions. Without further ado, Grom makes his way to Bad Boy's mansion and happens to witness Bad Boy being tossed out the window. Bad Boy staggers to his car, preparing to flee in panic. The man in black behind him calmly holds out some reagent in his hand and throws fire at the car. At once, Bad Boy's sports car is detonated in a firestorm. Grom intends to find out who the killer is, so he throws a stone at him. Unexpectedly, the man in black is agile enough to catch the stone at once. As he turns around, Grom finds the Avenger a masked vigilant, whose look includes a beak-like bird mask and a long cloak over a tactical suit complete with flamethrowing gloves. When Grom steps forward, the masked man attacks him with flames and escapes. Back to the police station, a trainee has drawn a portrait of the suspect. The identity of the masked man stirs up great curiosity among the cops. The victim's brother is called up for investigation, but his admiration for the killer implies that he is not the one. Furthermore, as a poor orphan, the victim's brother is not able to invest in making bombs. So Grom dismisses his doubts about the victim's brother and focuses on other possibilities. After his work, Grom knocks off at late night and happens to save a lady from thugs. Kind and generous Grom brings the lady back home to treat her wounds rather than her hormones. Little does he know that the lady is a vlogger and self-styled investigative journalist who wants to write about the mask killer. The bully scene is elaborately staged by her to get close to Grom and obtain information about the case for her blog. When everyone tries hard to identify the masked man, Sir Guy watches angry mustache coming back in that high-tech outfit and removing the beak-like bird mask. In disbelief, Sergei criticizes Angry Mustache for committing murder, and the two of them have a fierce quarrel. Soon after, the Vigilant, naming himself as the Plague Doctor, posts his executions online on a social media site. This time round, the Plague Doctor is live-streaming the purge of a banker, who uses her position to collect money and bankrupts many civilians, condemning her as the scum of society. 
The plague doctor ignites the reagent to blow up the banker in her fancy office high above the city. When the building is wrapped up in flames, countless notes are falling to the floor. By doing the dirty work the law can't do, the plague doctor is propped up as a folk hero and gains millions of social media followers in the process, which is way more efficient than Daniel CC Movie Channel. In response, Grom's superiors have sent in an FSB investigator from Moscow who promptly kicks Grom off the case. The FSB investigator has assigned Grom and Trainee to handle robbery, which is like a piece of cake for Grom. Grom obtains a name list of robbers from a mysterious stout man and pursues the culprits one by one. With those cases settled, Grom decides to investigate Sergei's company, which owns the social media platform picked by the plague doctor. But Sergei claims that all data is encrypted, and he has no way to track down the user information of the plague doctor. When Grom feels aimless, Trainee shows him a video of reporter. Grom immediately recognizes her as the lady he saved on that night. So later, he visits reporter to delete the photos she took and lectures her on the consequence of misusing such information. Meanwhile, the plague doctor has found his next target of torture, the owner of a monopoly on garbage disposal. As the owner did not do his work properly, rubbish is piled up, and babies in its vicinity are born deformed due to the pollution. Calling them as the rottenness of life, the plague doctor ties up the owner's family and burn them to death together with the trash. Overnight, there are overwhelming news reports about the plague doctor, and people have a heated discussion about his behavior. At the same time, copycats start roaming the city in their own bird beak masks, and Grom is no closer to uncovering the vigilant's identity. Sergei blames Angry Mustache and orders him to stop murders. But Angry Mustache does not waver in his will. Shortly after, Grom learns from Trainee that a new casino is opening, and many tycoons will be there. Speculating that the plague doctor will take this chance to destroy the rich, Grom infiltrates the casino. In the glittering casino where the wealthy are indulging in their corruption, Grom runs into reporter. She informs him that Sergei is involved in an arms deal. Suddenly, a group of beak bird masked men storm into the casino and proclaim destruction. In a pinch, Sergei offers to resolve the crisis in other ways, but the thugs do not buy his smelly shit all. When Sergei is kicked away and about to be slain, Grom saves him by throwing a glass at the thug. As expected, a fight follows and the thugs are gaining the upper hand. Meanwhile, reporter takes a video of what is happening until the policemen come to clear up the mess. Grom is upset that Trainee also copycats the plague doctor, wearing his bird beat mask. After a talk with boss, Grom decides to reconcile with reporter and Trainee. He buys a gift for reporter and apologizes to her. When Grom is about to call Trainee, the victim's brother passes by him with the bird beat mask. So Grom decides to dig out more information about the orphanage. From there, he realizes Sergei has once lived in the orphanage, and now he sponsors their operation. A teacher of the orphanage reveals that Sergei and Angry Mustache are childhood friends. As they grow up, Sergei went to college education while Angry Mustache joined the army. More importantly, Grom finds a sketch of a bird beak from Sergei's notebook. So he does more research on Angry Mustache and confirms that Angry Mustache died in Syria one year ago. With pieces of information, all the mystery is solved at once. Orphaned as a child, Sergei suffers from pain and sorrows, which give rise to his dark triad. Back then, it's shown that after he rescued the poor dog, he burnt the three bullies to death. Grom guesses that the plague doctor is actually the dark side of Sergei. Behind the beat mask hides the billionaire and founder of the Vmest social network, Sergei. The truth is Sergei needs an alter ego, so as to get rid of his former cronies among the elites. Grom drops by Sergei's office with the evidence, but Sergei distracts his attention by looking behind him. When Grom turns around to see what happens, Sergei knocks him unconscious with a beer bottle. At this time, Angry Mustache face has gradually changed into Sergei's, proving Grom's hypothesis. The two egos have conflicting views about what to do, and his dark triad triumphs. As such, Grom is set up as the scapegoat. Grom awakens to find himself lying on the rooftop of the casino, dressed in Plague Doctor's combat suit. The policeman has besieged the casino, and Grom fends off his colleagues with the flamethrowing gauntlets. As soon as Grom jumps to another building, Trainee takes him with a taser. Worse still, a lot of explosion reagents are found in Grom's house. When all evidence suggests that Grom is the plague doctor, only boss, trainee, and reporter believe otherwise. The FSB investigator is proud of the progress he has made and pushes boss to trial Grom. On the other hand, reporter meets Grom in jail and hands a U-shaped pin to him. Grom uses the U-shaped pin to open the lock and break away from the police station with the help of trainee. Before he sets off to hunt down Sergei, reporter gives him a hormone hug. 
Having been through all this, Reporter is in love with this lonely but hormone-smelly wolf. Self-righteous Sir Guy calmly waits for Grom's arrival in his own office and boasts about his designs on taking the law into his gloved hands. Grom approaches Sergei, clamps on his throat, and strips off his armor. Just when Grom thinks that Sergei is completely under control, the IT genius has already made a backup plan. He uploads a video that reveals the information of certain tycoons and encourages his fans to liquidate them. The video goes viral and violence escalates across the nation. His fans commit crimes, pre-programmed bombs go off, and the city is thrown into chaos. Back in the office, Sergei begins to attack Grom with flames, and Grom moves up and down to skip the flames by the skin of his tooth. When Sergei sadistically enjoys torturing Grom, Grom shields himself with a metal plank. In response, Sergei ramps up his fire for the attack, each shot aimed to put Grom to death. Suddenly, Trani appears with a fire hose to squirt Sergei, saving Grom from the danger. Sergei is totally mad, and he wants to wipe out Grom, Trani, and Reporter. Right then, different strategies flash across Grom's mind, but none of them seems to work. In the end, without better choices, Grom decides to commit suicide together with Sergei, so he carries up Sergei and jumps down from the building. Fortunately, Trani and Reporter react fast enough to grab their thighs and balls and pull them up before it's too late. Together, they overpower Sergei and tie him up to the chair. Sergei gives Grom such an agitating and humiliating taunt that Grom wants to push him off the window immediately, which is only existing in his mind. Grom knows that if he kills someone, even in the name of justice, he is also committing lawlessness, and thus, he will be of no difference from the Plague Doctor. What Sergei has said is recorded by Reporter, who is already prepared to expose his true nature. So far, she has collected enough evidence to clear Grom's name and bring Sergei to justice. In the meantime, riots in the city have been contained by the concerted efforts of vigilant residents and the police. Sergei has sought to curb lawlessness in his own ways, but little does he know that justice obtained by trampling on the law is not true justice, but the same as the devil. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.